Hello everyone, Caleb with Danzy Design Build here. And today I wanted to show you a project that we are helping to finish. Uh, this is a basement walkout in Salem, Utah. And we are here helping to get the header fixed and uh, install the beam. So the beam was not installed and I just wanted to show you how the foundation can crack and you can have actually some problems if you don't get the order of the construction done properly and you don't have engineering if that's necessary. So. We have another video on how to determine if you need to get the header engineered, if you're going to be disturbing that. And uh, yeah, so let's just jump right in. So this is the walkout entry here, and this is the doorway. This used to be a window, and you can tell that it was a window because there's this shape in the concrete here, that, and there's some silicone left over from where the window was sealed in there. And essentially, they cut the bottom of this open and you can see where the saw cutting took place here. And then they didn't really cut it much here. And then at the top, uh, we had to do a little bit of grinding. We're gonna have to do a little bit more in order to fit that beam in here. But essentially there's no reinforcement in here. And the, the rebar, you can see there's two pieces of rebar. Those are cut. And so this whole header here is essentially not reinforced. And there's several cracks that have been forming over the last few months and into the winter where um, this is actually completely fractured through. I think there's five places here where it's cracked. So this definitely needs to be reinforced and should have been before the concrete cutting happened. So anyway, we're going to get this header installed here. So we were able to get this beam installed today and we the way we did it was actually we put it in place and then jacked it up with a with a bottle jack and got it up and lifted into place with some wood four by fours and then actually were able to put the grout in there so that it's all structural and the space between the existing concrete and the uh the new beam so that's filled in and then we also were able to grout around the edges where the bolts are and then finish it off with some nice Sika caulking to make sure that any water doesn't end up down and going into that piece of channel in the future. So it really turned out great today. And now this walkout is structurally good to go for a very long time. So if you need help with your basement walkout entry or finish your basement remodeling your home, you can reach us on danzydesignbuild.com. You can reach out to us there on our website, request a consultation, and we'll get right back with you. So. Thank you for your time today and have a wonderful, wonderful week.